Okay, so let me write a sentence for you. I'll write, anything can be written. And I'm doing this with one finger here. Just moving the mouse around. Can be right, will be right. I want written. Yeah. Okay, so there, by moving my mouse on my touchpad, which is just this big, the same size as a lapel, I wrote a sentence. So, what was going on here? Well, here's a new metaphor for what writing is. Instead of writing is pressing buttons or writing with scribbling a, with a stick, writing is navigating, navigating in the library of all possible books. And here, on a single one-dimensional shelf from A to Z, are all conceivable books, not just all books, but all possible books, arranged in alphabetical order. So if I want to write hello there, I can navigate into the library of all possible books and find the book that contains exactly hello there. And by identifying that book, by navigating, I am writing. So to write hello there, we go into the H section of the library, within which are all the books from HA through HZ in alphabetical order. But what you'll notice, the smart thing we're doing is we're using our language model to allocate more shelf space to the probable characters. After an H, HA, HE, HI, HO are the most probable things that I'd be wanting to write. There is an HB section, an HC and HD, in between the HA and HE locations on the shelf, but they're small because it's improbable that I would want to write something like HB. I go into the HE section. You may notice we have HEA through HEZ, this white area here, this is the space character. We put that at the end of our alphabet by convention in Dasha. So these are the books that begin he, he said, he was, and so forth. We want to write hello, we go into the H-E-L section, within which is a very big H-E-L-L section, which we've now entered. These are the books that begin with the word hell and a space, but we want to write hello, and a, there's a nice large O, which we can zoom into, and we can then get the space after that. Oh, incidentally, in passing, the next most probable character after space, in this context, hello, is W, because our language model has heard of yellow, and it thinks, well, maybe hello, yellow, maybe there is a word hello. That's the sort of thing that's going on in our, in our language model's imagination. So we write T-H-E. Now, I don't want hello the, so I don't want to end up inside this white box. I want to go into the R section, and that's how we write Hello there. OK. So how am I doing this steering? How am I moving around in this, this world? This is the tree of all books, if you like. Well, it's just like driving a car. We want it to be very simple for people to learn. And the idea is you point where you want to go. So if I want to write is, I point towards is, the distance from the center of the screen is determining the speed at which I'm moving. If I want to go up, I point up. If I want to go down. I point down. So let's write easy to write. And moving the mouse back into the center of the screen slows everything down again. If I want to back up out of the library, I can point left. And that's a way of undoing what I've recently written. And then I can go in and write it again. It's just like driving a car. When you drive a car, you point where you want to go. Your instructor may have taught you to hold the steering wheel like this, but we don't do that. Do we? we hold it like this. And now when you want to go left, you point left. And when you want to go right, you point right. OK? So it's just like driving a car. Now, some people say, oh, hang on. Aren't you clicking on things and dragging? You know, isn't that the way we move things around on computers? You have to, well, it's just like driving a car. Do you drive a car like this? Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag. No. Moving things on a computer doesn't have to involve clicking and dragging. And in Dasher, emphatically, there's no clicking or dragging. You just point, and wherever you're pointing, if Dasher is running, then you're going in that direction. 